as a faculty liaison librarian, I actually deal with a whole lot of students um, right from our first years through to our um, postgraduates and our MBA students. Um, so I find that each sort of level uses it in a slightly different way, um, but mainly it's because it provides wonderful and reliable access to credible news sources and, and that's so important for my or the students in my subject areas because they need to keep abreast of um, that sort of topic. The news sources that they're looking for now are actually on the Ukraine-Russia war and obviously Newsbank provides so much um, you know, you can just access it so easily once they know how to search for it and they can be assured that it's a credible and valuable source and it gives them the chance to look at different sources so they can um, decide, they can evaluate the information and they can decide for themselves and they start exploring a bit more because they can on this resource, it's wonderful. Um, you know, that sort of helps them to learn that there are different sources around, that people have different viewpoints, but just because it's different doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong. You know, it's you just gotta be able to look at it clearly, credibly, and, and evaluate it. Students don't always know which sources to trust and which sources to use, and, and they don't always use those sources correctly. And so I think just knowing that the source is credible and reliable helps the students so much because that's half the, the battle. Then they've just got to worry about the analyzing and stuff, which is so much help for them. Um, I think that's why it's such a valuable, valuable, valuable resource. I use Access Google, Google News Bank as a commerce library. So, okay, we're looking at everything from a commercial aspect but it's so valuable in so many other ways i mean the trends for if you're in journalism you could you could access all the newspapers and all that so that's so valuable if you're looking at it from an arts um sociology um again that you news, students have got access to all these newspapers they can use to decide on certain topics and um, it's marvelous our MBA students, um, obviously they're off campus most of the time and they only come in to the university for a week teachings. So for starters, they have to be able to access everything off, off campus as such. And Global News Bank allows that with our um, facilities so that, you know, they just have to log in using their off campus access and everything's there. I was thinking about journalism students, so half the problem is also being able to write properly. So it's so important to be able to read well-written sources. Um, and for our students, I know English isn't always their first language. It's wonderful to be able to read well-written news stories and see that. And, and also the, the facility about being able to listen to a story. Often, it's easier for them, especially when they have to critically analyze something, to hear it first and then, you know, they can always go back and read it as well. We've got a, such a wonderful resource for all our students and not just the commerce and law students. It's everybody in the university. It's so exciting. I know whenever I talk to the lecturers about it, they get so excited about it you know and, and I love talking to them because they do I know there's like my treat for the day when you've had a particularly hard day and the good news you know so it's marvellous <laughs>